let's take a quick look at the Canvas course management system that we'll be using to host our class. If you haven't logged in before, uh, there's a link here that you can use to uh, create or look up your uh, password. Um, once you know your account name and password, go ahead and put those in and you can then um, log in. When you log in, you should see a display of all of the courses that you're enrolled in. And so amongst them, you should see this Perl class. And then you can click that to um, enter the class. I've set up the front page with some useful information, uh, including a series of orientation videos. Previously, I had one orientation video, which I've broken into three parts. The first part covers an intro to the class and an overview of the textbook. The second part, that's this one, talks about the Canvas system. And then the third part will get started writing our first Perl params and working in a Linux environment. I have a bunch of references and resources. Depending on your background, you may really need to explore these or they may just be review. Our course is divided into several sections. The most important are the discussion and module sections. Uh, assignments, you can see the assignments, but those are all, you'll also see those in the module section. Uh, you can click on the people section and you see a list of uh, who's enrolled in the class. The file section is useful. The navigation is really horrible, but you can see a list of all of the course documents. If, if anything gets lost or if you can't find it, you can look in the file section. Let's take a look at the module section. Here you'll see a list of each of the programming assignments, uh, eight of them, including the eighth assignment, which is uh, optional and extra credit, and you can see the due dates. These due dates will show up on the calendar if you look at the Canvas calendar. Come back and take a look at one of the assignments in a moment. Um, after that, you see a section with the textbooks and reading, along with the uh, approximate date you should be finishing up that particular section of the textbook. These dates aren't currently showing in the calendar. I'll see if I can pop them in there. Um, after that, you can see a list of the course documents, including some general information about the course and a course grading worksheet. The course grading worksheet will show you uh, how your grade is calculated and you can uh, you know, enter the scores as you get feedback on each of the uh, programs. Note that I won't be posting the, probably the scores in Canvas. Uh, you'll see them in the same uh, environment, Pengo, where you're doing your actual programming. Uh, there's uh, some files that will be useful if you're doing uh, assignment 8, some interesting or fun things, and also some uh, reference uh, material in there um, as well. Let's take a look at one of the uh, programs. If you click on it, um, you'll get a link to a PDF. If you click on the link, I think on most systems it should just download. And it will look like this. For each of the assignments, there is a description of what you're supposed to do, kind of an outline uh, of how the param will be evaluated. Each of the params is worth 100 points. One of the most important things getting right with the assignment is the, the file name. After the assignment's due, I'll just uh, copy files um, out of your directory, and I'll do that by a file name. Uh, Unix and Perl also are all case sensitive, so you need to get the file name exactly right. So for the first assignment, it's howdy, H-O-W-D-Y, and all lowercase. If you call your file any other name, uh, it won't be collected and you won't get any credit for it. So make sure you get the name exactly right. Let's take a look at the discussion section. During the first week, I'd like you to uh, make a post in the welcoming thread. You can uh, ask new questions at any time if you hit the, I think it's the uh, plus discussion button, and uh, feel free to start new posts. It is a requirement of this class for you to keep up with the discussion. So my expectation is that you will read every post that it's posted in here. Posts can be of pretty much any topic that you think is uh, of interest, uh, except for one thing, and that is to discuss how to complete the assigned programming assignments uh, before they're due and collected. Anything else, then that's okay. The programming assignments are individual, so I do expect that everyone will complete them on their own. Now, once the assignment is due and collected, then I'll start a thread, I'll post at least one sample solution for each assignment, and then encourage uh, folks to post their solutions as well, and then we can discuss the assignment fully after that. So the idea is that we will read the book together, do the exercises together. If you're doing the exercise in the textbook and have any questions about them, questions about the commands, post away. Now what you can ask is if you have any questions about the specification of a programming assignment. If what I'm asking you to do isn't clear, um, then please go ahead and uh, uh, post about that. Let's take a look quickly at the welcome thread. I see uh, many of you have already posted, and thank you for that. And it's a standard uh, threaded uh, news group. If you're um, viewing a message, you can um, click reply to reply to a specific message. 
All right, so that's a quick look at our, our um, class. As always, please contact me if you have any um, questions. Try best to contact me within Canvas itself. If you're having problems with Canvas itself, feel free to send me an email to um, get some help. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you online.